it's Tuesday, it's the 13th of June and day 13 of my vlogging experience. Uh, it is, I've just got back from the school run. It's blazing hot, so I'm gonna be rethinking my uh, cardigan situation in a moment. Uh, the house is a complete tip. It's covered in toys, homework. Oh, but I have to go to work, so there's nothing I can do about it. I work four hours on a Tuesday, and then I will be coming back doing the school run sorting out the kids and taking them to their trampolining club so it's quite a long day but I do get an hour and 15 minutes at trampolining just to sit and work on whatever project I'm enjoying so I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna take the Higa shawl with me tonight just because I was enjoying working on that so much last night but I might take my crozy memory squares I'll see I'll see what mood I'm in later but for now I'm gonna go and jump in the car and get to work just thought I'd show you this before I go to work this is like the mess that has been left by my youngest Phoebe and she's been playing with this this morning which is quite an old uh, crochet make uh, which she has named uh, Joe, Joe the monkey. I actually made it for my husband about I think about five years ago for, for his birthday one year. Um, this little crochet monkey, I made quite a few of these at the time. Um, I do, I do really like him actually, he's really cute. He's made with a kind of, um, I think it was a uh, Peyton's smoothie. So he's worn quite well, you can see there's, there's not much uh, in the way of bobbling or anything like that. Yeah, but this is her toy of choice this morning, so he's, he's been to school and back. just back from work um, I've done my my four hours and I'm literally just about to dash out the door on the school run but I when I was at work which just goes to show you where my mind was I suddenly had the realization that there's a knit along go uh, um, it's a knit along and it's being hosted by Emma of Eldenwood craft podcast and Ellie of craft house magic and it's for is to knit the striped mittens according to um, Bada, bada, bada gack or something. I can't quite remember. I will put it up on the screen. Sorry if I'm shady. Um, and it just sort of entered my head when I was at work and I've been thinking about it ever since, thinking, oh, I really want to make those mittens. I think the knit along en runs until the end of June. So I don't know. Do I want to cast on something new? I might have a look at the pattern and see if I can do it. But anyway, these were the yarns that I had in mind, which I've just put down on the floor where I was brushing my hair so hopefully they're not too covered and this is some of the yarns that I ordered from my wool warehouse order they're both drops flora let me just hold them the right way up um bit of grello I thought they would look nice as a stripy mitten and it would uh, be a good addition to my basket of mittens cowl as well I can double dip but should I be casting on anything new? There's a jumper I want to cast on, my first ever. <sighs> There's just not enough time in the day. <laughs> 